Google. Turn on the garden water. What? Okay, turning the garden water on. Not terribly exciting. Not a very impressive water flow, but hey, it's free water. Today, a quick video on two ways of controlling water flow. I previously talked about how I control water flow using a ball valve from our uh, creek water. Let me go show you those real quick. <laughs> So here is where we collect our creek water. Comes in from the creek up there, collects into a pond here. And over here we have our ball valves. Hey Google, turn off creek valve one. Put the microphone here. Why not? Sure. Turning creek valve one off. You can kind of hear that gear valve turning. Skyhawk leasing Cessna is Skyhawk at 3,100 feet, heading north zero degrees east from Birmingham. There's two advantages to these. Uh, one is there's no power required after you open and close them. And the second advantage is you can open them partially to get a limited flow. Now there's also two disadvantages. You need to have two relays to control them. One for on off and one for open and close see if those here in this Raspberry Pi box. Uh, that's the Pi, the relays are buried at the bottom there. The other disadvantage is they can get clogged up with uh, mud and not fully close. They'll close most of the way but not completely. The other way to control them is with solenoid valves. And that's what I use with that garden water. Let me show you that up close. Hey Google, turn off the garden water. All right, turning off the garden water. Hey Google, turn on the garden water. Okay, turning on the garden water. You hear that blip? That's a solenoid working. Now you can get cheap $15 valves used in lawn sprinkler systems. For this application, I had to go with a pricey $50 valve for two reasons. With a lot of twos today. Sprinkler valves typically have a 15 psi minimum pressure requirement. My house water is at 30 psi, but this creek, creek water is only at 5 psi. We're about you know, 50 feet below where that pond is. The second reason is I need a normally open valve. Hey Google, turn off the garden water. So when Got it's it. off, Turning off, the, the water wall. normally flows down through the, the pond. So unlike ball valves, where I had to use a Raspberry Pi driving two 12-volt relays, this one is a simple setup, where I drive the, that 120 volts normally closed, normally open valve directly with a Z-Wave, a $20 Z-Wave relay. So cheap, easy to install and not complicated. The only fancy part with this setup is I have the house program to detect when I watering the garden and after 30 minutes it will, it will automatically turn the garden water back on to keep our little fishies happy. There are little fishies. That's an alligator who keeps the heron at bay. Not really. Uh, little fishies down there. So nothing fancy this week, hopefully something useful for you smart home enthusiasts out there playing with water features. Thanks for watching.